didn't even think about sitting on my knee. It's so all that walking I've done this morning. I don't do walking. It's nearly killed me going around that car boot. It's Sunday the twenty second today. I will be showing you the clip at the end of the video um, on the car boot. We went to a car boot yesterday. It was interesting where the car boot was. It was at Barton Air Aerodrome Airport. So you're going to see an helicopter taking off and a few other things then. Um, you, at the end of that video we'll go straight into the coins that I acquired and I've got to tell you the four beautiful coins. I'm absolutely chuffed as a monkey with a bag of nuts. It's like finding gold, literally. These four coins, they're awesome. They really are. I'm, I'm made up with them and um, I, was, I got a, a coin dealer on... Um, on, on Barton Airport yesterday so I'll show you them at the end of the video but uh, yeah this week I've, I've not stopped I've been helping out others um, putting glass in greenhouses uh, I've been I've been organising for more horse when yours to be dropped off wood chip to be dropped off um, been making sure the strimmers are all got fuel and all wiring and all working one of them was lent out the other day, it's come back broke. I'm a bit annoyed about that. Uh, because normally you, you when you go there, when you you get a strimmer, once you've used it, you take it back. You don't pass it to the next person along. And that's what happened. Four people took the strimmer. So we don't know who broke it. I'm very annoyed about that. So there's a strimmer out there and we need to get it fixed there. Mike's on it to get the. He's going to get a couple of heads to replace this um, this thing. It's the clips that I've, we've lost in it, um, and you can't use it with without the clips. It just rips the heads to shreds. Anyway, I've been dealing with that, um, opening the opening and shutting the shop for people to get compost and what have you, fertilizers, and blow me comes round the allotment the other night and um, notice we've got a burst at the top end near Aaron's uh, there was a, an airline crack in a pipe and we had, a, we had a couple of choices you have to turn the water off so there's no water for the ducks, the chickens or anybody to put it to water the greenhouses or we come up with a cunning plan well, I had some Gorilla tape in my car, so I, at first I tried that. That was absolutely useless. We won't be using that again. Um, I'm not, never, I didn't do the video, uh, edit, uh, do a video of that. I'm going to show you though. I'll show you the um, the leak what we had, and I'm going to show you the fix. Now, this fix we've used this uh, method about between five, to about seven years ago. We used this method to to fix this burst. Now, it. The burst was on um, on the main pipe itself, so we would need a plumber to come and take the old thing out, dig it out, and to redo it. it would have cost thousands to do it, but there was a quick and easy fix, and you're going to see that fix right now. And so I'm going to show you before, and I'll show you an after. I'll show you the fix, what we what I did. Well, this is not good. The, um, the tap pipe has got a, an airline fracture and it's throwing water out here. Well, Buttercup is having a having a moment. You bam pot, pack it in, and try to do a video. <laughs> And the video is this thing here, this repair. Now we fixed this. Do you remember the, the leak what was coming out of here last night? Well, we tried some Gorilla Tape. I thought I, what I should have done was just put a screw in like I did there about 10 years ago. That's a screw, bit of cart, a cart washer, screwed it in, job's done. Anyway, the next time we had another leak just here. And didn't have any of these screws so my next fix was a, um, a jubilee clip and a bit of this rubber hole see this stuff here a piece of that and clamp it and that was a, another fix that was seven years ago that anyway this one happened yesterday 
we thought we'd get smart with this gorilla tape. I've been told so much about this gorilla tape. Oh, it, 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 it stops water. It stops nothing. It's useless. So, I reverted back to... I tried to take it off and it it's bloody awful to get off. So what I did, I just put a, a piece of this hose over it. Jubilee clip. Tightened it up and the leaks fixed. But as you can see, this is the main pipe which goes in the ground. Now, I had no choice but to fix it. I, if I turned the water off, that meant the ducks and the chickens and all the greenhouses wouldn't be able to have any water. So that's a thing on me on my feet, and this is what I've come up with this fix. Um, normally, it's these things what break here. There should only be one tap here. And over the years, people have stuck different attachments and all sorts. This one here. That pipe there goes to the tap over there. So you can see where all these joins are, it's just a nightmare. We've not had any leaks here since I've redone them all. Um, that was about a year or two ago. But that one, yeah, coming, it was all firing all over the road here, so that was dangerous. But uh, I would have called uh, an, a, a proper plumber out. You would have had to dig this out and replace it. It could have cost thousands to do so. A Jubilee clip and a and a, and a piece of rubber off a nose. There's your fix, guys. So you've got if you ever have the same problem, you've got a choice what you want to do. Obviously, turn the water off, drill a hole, put a self-tapping screw in with a with a cart washer. That's one fix. This is the best fix because you can just put the um, Jubilee clip on, put the rubber, you slide it over, and then just tighten it. Up. You slide it down and tighten it up over the um, over the leak. You don't even have to turn the water off. So there you go. So you got that way or that way. Using that stuff there, though, is a waste of time. Um, if it's under pressure, you're just wasting your time. Um, I don't know if it's designed for for for, for pressure or what, but um, when I put it on, it was just put it just oozing out the sides. It was a waste of time. But this this is the fix anyway. Anyway, Buttercup, I think she's uh, I think she's broken that cat. She's been rolling on the belly for the last five minutes. There, she must be rolling on something anyway. What stinks? So yeah, I used a Jubilee clip, a uh, bit of rubber hose, uh, cut a bit of rubber hose, cut it down, cut the slot, pulled it out, shoved it on, put the clip round it and, and tightened it. Now, you've seen the other the other repair, that was about, about eight, about seven, eight years ago I think I did that repair, and as you see, it's, it's lasted. So that other one should last, uh, if not as long, but um, that would have cost us a fortune to take care of. So. Um, that's why I suppose I'm the chairman <laughs> because I can actually um, look at a problem and fix it pretty much straight away. But um, like I say, I'm an engineer and it was a quick fix, but it's done. So I've been dealing with that sort of thing. That's the sort of my week what I've had. Um, and each time I wanted to get a couple of things done, I managed to get my strawberries in without too much miver. I bought 20 strawberries on the car boot last Sunday. I paid five for, for 20. Um, the pots that I got, I mean, I've got 20 fantastic pots there and the two trays, you'll see them. They must be worth a quid. So what's that a quid? So four quid, so 20 pence each. It really should have cost them, them strawberries. You're going to see me putting them into this raised bed behind me. So I'm going to take you there now and show you what we're Today, doing. I've got... Uh... 20 small strawberries here and I'm um, going to put them into this planter um, in this bed here. Um, it's that one that had the um, clay balls. Uh, remember that? I, I don't know if, if you follow the channel, you remember I had a load, someone had dropped a load of wacky back of compost at the gates. Well, we filled this planter full of it, this was last year, and um, this year we're going to put these in them and see what happens. So I'm going to set this new stall out over here and I'll show you me doing one or two of them. I'll show you the stuff what we're planting in as well. 
I've got no idea whether they're going to be okay or not, but for 25 pence each, it's worth a it's worth a pump, worth a gamble. There's a few flowers on them as well already. Right, anyway, I'm going to strategically place them and see see how they look. Then we'll get them stuck in. Right, onwards and upwards. Buttercup there. Fast asleep. For how long, I've got no idea. These are pretty good, little trays, and I'm going to have 20 pots, so for, for a, a fibre I've got 20, some, uh, 20 strawberry plants, I've got 20 pots and two of these, we did alright. As you can see we've got all right, these well. strawberries that are all lined up here, um, it's going to be a bit awkward because I'm sort of balancing over some calendula uh, to the side of me, this is all calendula. Um, self seeding as well, so that other stuff I'll give it away. Um, that other um, calendula, however, this is what we're, we're here to do. So I've got to sort of lean across, kneel on here, and then plant these. Got to get like this. A lot of this is that. Um, Clay pellets. That oh, looks all right, then. Yeah, good roots. Seen a weed there. Yeah, I'm gonna have twenty of them pots as well. <laughs> so for for a fiver. Yeah, did all right there. Got, um, let's say, got twenty strawberries with twenty of them pots. one you can see all the strawberries in all 20 they've all been watered and uh, like I say whether they're going to do any good with this stuff here I don't know but the only way to find out is to put the, the tomato, uh, strawberries in them. This stuff here, this calendula, um, was all over this. I had to pull them all out to get me st these strawberries in. But uh, yeah, there's 20 of them there. We wait with bated breath to see if we get any strawberries from them. I hope so. Yeah, these are really cool. Like I say, got 20 pots and we've got these here, so... And, and then we've got 20, 20 um, strawberries as well. So these have got to be worth a quid. So probably them strawberries cost me 20 pence each, really, if you take into account what i got with them. Anyway, we've got the strawberries in. So we'll reap the reward in a, in a few few months' time. So we got the strawberries in. 
I've actually put um, netting over my other strawberries because I don't want to see them bloody jackdaws flying around with strawberries in their beaks. Last year, it was on Red Nose Day, I come down, I'm not kidding you, there was four um, jackdaws and they had strawberries in their mouth. It looked like Red Nose Day here, I tell you. And she, useless her, um, just watching them. And they were pinching all my bloody strawberries. So this year, they've got no chance of getting them ones. But, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to get some strawberries. But, yeah, this this, this here, um, hopefully, we'll, we'll get some really nice strawberries. The next clip I'm going to show you is me um, putting me, taking, taking my fleece off my dailies and putting um, some cages over them for support. Now, early in the year, I... took the lucifer and I put them into bigger pots what I didn't do was drill the holes for the cable ties to put the um, to put the, these frames over over the to give the lucifer support you're gonna see me wondering what the hell was going on I figured it out in the end anyway when I got the drill you're gonna see that and um, you're gonna see her driving me nuts so I'm trying to find the bloody holes in the buckets but you get to see this cool way of giving you daily support and uh, I'm show guys you that now. today the um, fleece comes off the top of the dahlias and um, just to the right of me here I've got a load of cages which um, sits on these buckets after a fashion and the cable side and the reason why we do it is because the dailies get really over a uh, top heavy and when they get to a certain height they start to fall over and they, then they start to break the stems so we have these cages um, which sit over the the, um, the dahlias and it prevents them from snapping anyway here we go and we'll take the air uh, like i say these clips are absolutely awesome um i bought these in um in poundland you get four for a, a quid and um they're really strong and uh, like I say they clip onto everything and if you got fleece it's perfect for, for holding the fleece down. We'd managed to grow underneath all that. However, as you can see, I don't know if you can see. Let's have a quick look here. Yep, you can see the dahlias. Here they go. So you got the dahlias, and obviously you got the um, you got the lucifer, the big tall things here. So I may need um, a piece of rope um, just to wrap around the lucifer to pull them all tight, so I can sit the. Um, the frames over the top right I'm just gonna throw this into the chickens I'm gonna get myself some string if I can and then we'll get stuck into this uh, putting all the frames around them okay what we're doing we're just sitting these on here for now um, then we'll cable tie them. This one's going to be awkward. So what we do? Wrap the string around it. Pull them in tight. Simple as that. What I'm looking for here is some holes, <laughs> and I'm uh, just going to push the that 
that's it. I don't know if you can see what we're doing here. One on the other side. These ones haven't got handles on these buckets, but some of them have. So it's just it's simple to just connect them to the handles. But however, as you see, that pulls that in tight and, and that makes it nice and secure. Buttercup, stop whining. You, you're showing me up, stop it. You're not that camera and you're in trouble. You've already broke two. So what I'm doing here, I'm just pulling it all together. I can slide the frame over. a few here. Right buttercup I can't concentrate with your whining, stop it. Right. Now then. Couple of cable ties. Ah, you, you, oh you little right I'm trying to find the blooming old get what you do is stop it. What are you doing? You're killing me. I'm tr I'm trying to find the blooming old I'm going to thump you in a minute. Where to put the... There is an hole in this bucket, guys. Hi, right, guys. I just realised what I did. I changed uh, these buckets um, for, for for bigger ones. And... Um, I never drilled the holes in them, did I? So here's me looking to find a bloody hole. And there's none there. So, simple enough fix. Swing it round. And put the one in. Can't be that hard. So, yeah, if they haven't got handles, which most of these haven't, that means I've got to drill a load of bloody holes in them now. Still, what I do is as well, cut them off here. Right, I'm just going to check to see if there's no, no holes in that one either. So what I do now, uh, lift that out there. Throw this around this Lucifer. string around them just goes over the top Yeah, this, uh, like I say, it stops the dailies from breaking. And uh, all I'm going to lose out of this process is a couple of uh, cable ties. Don't even think that camera was pointing at that, unfortunately. Right. 
There we go, Lucifer's inside there and it'll grow, let's say it'll grow straight up this. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but uh, cable ties around these handles. Some of them had handles, some of them haven't, and uh, I did take a couple of these with handles for my potatoes, and because some bugger pinched them, and I'm just just realised um, <laughs> there's no holes in them, so I'm looking for the holes. Anyway, I managed to I brought the drill over. They're all sorted. Got a couple more to do. So as you see this is the last one, this is the cable tie and uh, I say they've all, all well, except for that one, <laughs> it's just one here. So you've got the hole here, so what I do, push the cable tie in, I don't know if you can see this, swing the camera down here, pointing down at it, so there's an hole through there and I, this here just pulls to it, there is one on the other side and um, that keeps all the dahlias in the centre and they don't fall all over everywhere. Right, let me just get this last one. We go. can Sorry. see we've got these um, frames over the dahlias. Dahlias will go up the centre. They can't flop all over everywhere. Same with the lucifer. Got them cable tied. Um, I don't think there's going to be another frost this, this year. So we may even take the fleece off the potatoes in a bit. But yeah, we, we, we changed some of these buckets out. We put some put some of these um, dailies in bigger buckets and what I didn't do was drill holes so I've had to bring the bloody drill to drill holes in the bucket so they can fit the cable ties in but yeah the dailies are doing okay um, a few more time they look absolutely glorious these so there we go the dailies I've got, I've got the frames up that the um, the fleece is off I don't think we're going to get any more um, any more frost this year. Think touch wood anyway. But um, yeah, the the lucifers got that. They've got its support as well. So they should look glorious in a few a few months time. Then when they get the flowers on them, I don't think it'll be a few months. I think it'd be more like six weeks. We wait with eighty breath anyway. I've got another video now. I used my GoPro Seven. I was looking for my GoPro Five so when I found my GoPro Seven. So I thought, let's use it. So this is, uh, I've done this video on the walk around with my GoPro 7. Let me know what you think of the, the sound quality and the actual video quality. It'd be interesting to know whether I, I should start using them, the, these um, GoPros. I have got a GoPro 8 somewhere. I've got a GoPro 5, 6s, I've got them all, but this is a GoPro 7, but I'm gonna do this, um, show you this uh, tour on. So let me take you around the plot now and show you everything what's been happening on the plot. Well you join me um, on 
the allotments. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. Like I say, crystal clear skies. We've got a, a, an easterly wind blowing. Um, as we come down on the plot, uh, we come slap bang in front of the yellow flag irises and the lilies. There are the lilies there. There are the yellow flag irises. They're looking really good. Same on the other side over there. Uh, we took the tops off the hanging baskets. We have got some geraniums and um, some um, fuchsias to go in here. And we've got some marigolds as well. Um, coming down here, there's Buttercup in the shade. She knows the best place to be. Come down here, come into this greenhouse. You can see all the um, the grapes. This is uh, Black Hamburg, and I forget what this grape is on this side, but uh, yeah, it's. I mean, the temperature in here at the moment it's over 100 degrees here. I'm looking at that temperature there. It says 100 and some degrees and that's inside this greenhouse so the, the plants are um, really getting a good hammering with the sun there are the um, marigolds calendula we don't need them i'm going to give them away because i'll show you the calendula what we've got in a moment cosmos we will be needing these are um, chilies there's a load of tomatoes there what i need to get rid of all these here, these are all um, radish, uh, we've been pulling one or two out. These are the geraniums and the fuchsias, what we've got. These are my leeks, still need to get them out. Um, coming into this greenhouse, as you can see the tomatoes are doubled in size. We've been taking the suckers or the side shoots out of these. Uh, we'll be tying them to the canes shortly. Once they get to this notch here, um, then we'll, that, that'll be sometime in the middle of next week. But um, we've not we we won't be watering in there until um, in the evening. But yeah, this 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 greenhouse is uh, fully up and running. Uh, we've got more black Hamburg there in the uh, on this this grapevine. So we're going to have some grapes this year to make some wine. These are um, currants. I'm going to soon be putting nets over my strawberries. More currants there. This is the reason why I don't need any calendula is because look, look at that lot there. These are them 20 strawberries that we've stuck in. This um, planter looking good. This bed here is the one what we're going to be tidying. Now we've already cleared all the weeds out this one. This is the next one to do. Um, we've got cedar here, we've got um, lupins, we've got poppies, we've got yellow flag irises, and right at the very end we've got um, a still bed. But we've got more of this um, sedum strategically placed. You'll be able to see it better on the strawberry bed over there, what this look, will look like eventually. These are gooseberries I don't know if you can see the gooseberries there lots of gooseberries these are lilies more geraniums the more more gooseberries their current see this is a current bed um, we will be taking all these out of here these are all the, the daffodils we're just waiting for them to die back now we're coming with the scissors and take them all back tidy this bed as well so we got this bed to tidy in this bed and the rhubarb bed on the other side. More lupins there. I thought I had buttercup whining. Then it's some kid, I think, in the in the distance. Some apples. This is me apple. One of me apple trees. I've got quite a few apple trees here. That's absolutely awesome. I'm trying to think of what it is now. <laughs> oh dear. Iris. Well, I can't think of the name of it. Never mind. I've got some day lilies there. Uh, this is all mint. Another 
I don't know how they sell the L Lescott into this um, basket, but that's a, a, a looping. Crazy. We'll get that out of there. Coming into this greenhouse. More tomatoes, but these tomatoes are going to be putting 10 in along here. And in the front greenhouse, we're going to be putting some in there. We've actually got some sweet corn there. There's more of these um, lupins there. These are all chilies, different chilies, cucumbers. There's a whole host of them in there. Again, the temperatures are well under the hundreds. These are me snowball and um, me red barren onions. Over here are me elephant garlic. All my girls are all dug down there, digging holes and uh, basking in the sunshine. They're quite happy. We put the frames over the dahlias. So the dahlias will grow up over the top of them and they will be supported. We've done the same with the lucifer, them two there. This is our lemon balm and uh, more uh, yellow flag harvests. We have got cores yet in there, just stuck it in there. Nowhere else to put it. Got again yellow flag harvests around the pond, there's the pond. Again, we've got a pile of uh, lemon balm. These roses, there's a bay tree, and this is the jasmine. Uh, again, these are apples, bramleys. I don't know if you can see the apples on them. Everywhere you look, there's apples. This here is me, um, me, por me porcelain white garlic. That'll be coming out shortly. These have got an absolute battering from the flea beetle and they nibbled all around the leaves, unfortunately, which is a bit annoying. Um, These are me peas. They've all got flowers on them and climbing up these frames really good. I've left this on just to protect them. There's a bit of weed in there. We will pull that weed out, I assure you, and give it to chickens. Chickens will eat that. These are me onions. They're starting to swell out now. And we've got a full bed of them. Must be 200 in there. So in a few months time, we'll be, um, well, a month time, I would imagine. We'll be taking the onions out. Again, I'm going to take the fleece off this um, these potatoes sometime today, maybe. Probably end up, end up no, I'm not today, maybe tomorrow. And um, yeah, we've got 40 buckets there, eight different varieties of potatoes, so we're going to have plenty of reveals. My pumpkin's doing fine over there, I'll be pumpkins. It's a bit dark around here. This tree takes a lot of the light out in the evenings. This is um, a couple of blueberries, another blueberry there. Yeah, the sun comes up here and comes across. So when it gets to about here, that's where we, we lose, the, lose the sun. But the front part still gets it. Anyway. More Bramleys, absolutely smothered. Everywhere you look, you've got Bramleys. They just, the old trees just covered in them. Everywhere you look. So it's gonna be a good year for Bramleys and a better year for the food bank. Look at that lot in there. Rhubarb, these are my um, gooseberries. These are my strawberries, they're looking good, lots of flowers. I will be putting nets over them shortly. Now these are my sedum, and what you see on that bed there, you're gonna see pretty much on that bed, and just on the ends you've got the astilbe. These are my um, red and white currants or the maggie 
These are my um, raspberries. You can see all the flowers on them. Again, this is a golden delicious. Look at the apples there, they're everywhere. So it's going to be a good year for apples. Again, yellow flag irises. Uh, we will be putting summer bulbs into these plant pots over the top of the um, spring bulbs. And um, it won't be long before we'll be seeing flowers coming up in these plants as well. So that's a general look at the plot. I say it's uh, very warm today. It won't be long before we'll be picking strawberries. I can actually see strawberries forming. So when they get to a fair size, the nets will be going over them, I assure you. Keep them bloody jackdaws and wood pigeons off them and the magpies. Last year all you could see is um, jackdaws and magpies with red noses. In other words, they had all the strawberries stuck in the beaks, flying around. But yeah, we got that bed to clean, that bed to clean, and that bed to clean. I will get that on with that shortly. Right, onwards and upwards. I'll leave you with that shot of the uh, strawberries. So as you see, everything's looking really good. The, 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 two, the back front and the back greenhouse, I haven't got the, I've not had the time to, to do anything with them yet. We've got lots of tomatoes and everything to get out of there. Um, I've got some pots to put my tomatoes in. I might do that next week, but it's where I can put them. Um, the front, the middle greenhouse, however, is doing exceptionally well. It won't be long before we'll be putting the, um, the Velcro on the, um, on the tomatoes to hold them to the canes. I've been taking the side shoots, the suckers out. Um, I'll show you me doing that again. And... Um, I say the, the grapevines, everything's doing really well. I've got lots of, um, I've got some geraniums, I've got some marigolds, I've got some uh, lobelia, I've got some fuchsias, and I'm going to be putting them into my hanging baskets soon. Every time I go to try and do something, at the moment I'm being stopped and people coming over, can you do this, can you do that? This is the first moment I've had this week where I've, I've not had anyone come over and stop me um, from doing what I wanted to do. Um, I've got this last clip to show you and it was like I say it was a trip to, to Barton yesterday um, on the, uh, there was a car boot at Barton Air, Airport yesterday and uh, <laughs> you hear me make a comment about the um, the runway being right next to where the car boot was but I'm going to show you the, I'll show you the aerodrome sort of little snippets of a, an helicopter or two taking off and then we'll go straight into the coins which I bought, which basically is the reason why I'm showing you the video in the first place, because these coins are absolutely awesome. There's four of them. Check this clip out and we we'll Here we go. I think it's getting ready. I can hear it. It's starting to get a bit... Yeah, there we go. car boot sale over there now and that is heading east no it's heading decided now it's going west okay so it's yeah it's going up the that's the runway where it's going up doesn't really need a runway does it huh? how awesome is that well that's where the smokies layer is over there ground here someone's preparing to take off in that little helicopter there we're just getting in it now but um, yeah it's all that, that's the uh, the tower there you can probably see if all the, the planes just over there behind next to the tower but the runway 
runs along runs along here where I'm pointing and it runs past the car boot that's where the car boot is that's where I've come down to now and it runs straight past it so right next to the bloody runway is the car is the the car boot sale now what would happen if the plane lost its lost control well, that, that would be make a great a great movie wouldn't it anyway as you see over there Smokies are getting ready to take off and catch the old um, criminals in, in the in the tracks. I think they've got three helicopters there, the police. Uh, I, I'm sure there was another one over there before. Well, looks like someone's preparing for takeoff there in a little helicopter. And it is a little helicopter, that. There is another one that takes you on rides. Um, which I filmed a bit earlier and um, well don't know where that is at the moment this is interesting oh it's not on the motor on the, on the um the plane just coming into land oh actually it's a glider coming into land there what he's been doing is take coming in rolling along the ground and then taking back off Yep, there he goes again. So he's, he's took off. You can see Smokey in the layers ready for taking off over there. Swing the camera around. Sorry about the uh, the swinging of the camera. But uh, this little helicopter is ready for taking off shortly. Looks like so, uh, whoever's getting in it is taking lessons. Well, guys, have I got four fantastic coins here to show you 100 and it's nearly 170 years old this is this is a victoria half penny look at this luster on that absolute awesome just look at that car it's absolute fantastic 170 years old again this ain't far short of 170 years old as well. This is an 1857. The other one was an 1855. Just look at that. That's absolute fantastic. Again, um, here's another one. I think this is uh, 1877. So this is 150 years old. Half penny. Look at the, the, the luster on these. These are absolute fantastic. But the piece of resistance for me is this puppy here. It's a penny. And look at that. Absolute mint. Got a little bit of muck there, but that's nothing. 1855 penny. I do love these um, Queen Victoria pe um, coins. And these, this is absolutely fantastic. This has cost me 40 quid. It's worth every every penny of that. It's probably worth double that, maybe even treble that. It's absolutely awesome. Again, these are 25 quid each. Again, these are my favorite of all, all the queens. Um, she's my favorite on a coin. Um, absolutely awesome she is beautiful coins the detail the luster everything's there in these coins yeah we we picked them up today um at barton air show but at air, airfield uh, there's a car boot there so these are going to go into my collection now i've got a lot of coins like this in my collection um, but they're away at the moment these will go to the side before i'll slot them into me my, um my, collection in the week but yeah absolutely awesome find there so yeah the helicopters um, are pretty cool when they take off aren't they uh, there was a little black one the bloody camera uh, I turned the camera off by mistake it was just about to take off and I, I turned it off but um, you, you got planes coming in and out all morning and um, that little um, glider um, kept on coming in and landing and taking off obviously someone's someone's practicing his landing and his takeoffs um, 
I was thinking about um, taking some um, flying lessons as well because you can actually take flying lessons down there. I think it's 50 quid a lesson. So, how hard can it be? So, I might, I might actually give it a go, see if I uh, take 10 lessons and see if I can actually get airborne. <laughs> 180 mile an hour. I think that's about the fastest I've ever been. That was on a motorbike. It's all right, guys. It was on a racetrack, and I did come off it. Um, 180 mile an hour. Come to a screeching halt. Not a mark. Well, okay, a couple of burns on my backside, but that was it. Um, used to, back in the day, I used to love motorbikes. When I got rid of my motorbikes, my mum was really happy, and so was my gran. She said, "You're gonna kill you then." <laughs> Nearly did a few times, but uh, I used to enjoy racing. Um, Used to have an Amoco 1300 Kawasaki. Uh, had a couple of um, Suzuki's, uh, Yamaha's. Um, anyway, let's not go into the motorbikes. But uh, yeah, helicopters. I think that's about the top speed, isn't it? About a couple of hundred mile an hour. So if you hit the ground, I think I'll be okay. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. So for me and Buttercup here. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you back here for some more next week. Bye for now, folks.